Okay guys, so welcome to this uh, new tutorial series and basically in this tutorial series, series I will show you how to retopologize a head. So let's, let's talk. So this will be a short introduction. This is me after finishing the, the series. So, uh, okay, what is retopology? So basically for those who don't know, retopology is basically uh, a thing that you do to decrease a uh, count of vertices on your character. And the reason why we do it, because if you want to export, for example, this head to the game engine and use it as a, I don't know, character, uh, it will be a lot more optimized and uh, a lot easier for the computer to handle a, a retopologized version, which is which has a lot, lot smaller amount of vertices. And also for animations, if you want to rig her, and uh, just animate her facial expressions. It will be also a lot easier and a lot easier to handle for the computer. And uh, that's why we do it. And also it will be easier to unwrap it so you can apply the textures. So let's see. So uh, I have two versions. So I have the, the sketch that I did. So here is the, not sketch, the sculpt that I did of her. Uh, and here is the retopolog retopologized version and I I hope that you can't really see the difference between them because it's the point of retopology to make uh, the same mesh with a smaller amount of vertices but to keep roughly the same uh, look. So first I will show you the detailed, the sculpt version. So here is the sculpt, sculpted version. If I go to edit mode of her, you can see, but you have to wait. You can see that uh, if I select everything with clicking A, you can see all the vertices that she's made of. So you can see that there's a lot of vertices uh, of her on her. Uh, we are not doing like uh, the eyebrows, uh, eyelashes and uh, the eyelid are separate objects, only the face. So you can see that yeah, she is made up of fairly very <laughs> uh, big amounts of vertices. And if I select her, everything select with A, you can see at the bottom here the amount of vertices she is made of. So she is made of roughly two hundred and fifty thousand uh, vertices, which is a lot, and it's not good for games because computer would have to like save each vertices point and it would cost a lot of memory. And now let's go to the retopologized version. So let's see how how much uh, vertices she's made of and how much we saved. So let's go to edit mode and you can see already that she is made of a lot smaller amount of vertices and also she's very uh, nicely uh, retopologized. So here we have some like main loops of the eye that uh, we made that I, you will be making also and also loops main loops for the mouth and other stuff like here because there's some rules when you are making the retopologized version and I tried to follow them I, I'm not like best at uh, retopology but you can learn something from me and uh, it's it's good enough it's like basically better than the uh, normal normal ones and yeah i will teach you how to do it so let's select her all so let's click a and you can see that she's made of 5000 mm, roughly 5100 vertices so we we saved 245 vertices and you can see that there's there's uh, there's no difference like basically uh, if you like look closely you can see that uh, here for example you can see some maybe sharp edges a bit and here's very uh, it's very smooth but you can't really see it like 
it's so subtle that you can see it. So this is what we'll, we will be doing and we can compare those two meshes if you click here on the overlays and you can click on geometry wireframe. So it will show the wireframe of your character and you can see like you can just basically compare how how this retopologized version looks uh, compared to this one. So we will do it in this tutorial series. So that is a short introduction. I hope you will enjoy it and and yeah, uh, good luck, not good luck. Uh, enjoy, enjoy the tutorial series. So goodbye.